Hey everybody, Mel here, 400 AGL. Man, am I excited about this video. A few days ago, I put up a different video talking about how to live stream from the DJI Smart Controller direct to YouTube. I'll put a card up here so you can get to that video. This video is about live streaming from the DJI Smart Controller using the RTMP custom server settings just in case you don't have a thousand subscribers with YouTube. Let's move into that video. So, just like in the other video, the first thing you need to make sure you do is make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection. That's really important. You can't stream without Wi-Fi. So make sure your Wi-Fi is connected, and once you're certain of that, then feel free to move on. So the very first step you need to do is go to your live dashboard on your YouTube channel and set up your stream that you're about to do with the RTMP. You don't have the option to name the stream and add stuff into the description box and things like that in this particular setting. You have to do this ahead of time. So go to your YouTube channel, set up a stream as though you were going to do a live stream, but don't do a live stream. You're going to do that from the controller in a little bit. Set your title, put whatever you want in the description for the time being, and then you can close it. You're done with it. That's all you needed to do was set a title and a description and leave it be for the time being. Let's move back to the smart controller. We're going to go to the three little dots. We're going to go to choose streaming platform and we're going to choose RTMP custom. Right now, this will be blank on your screen unless you've set it up once before. But right here would be a good place to pause the video because that uh, stream link is what you need to type in to your settings. This is how you're setting it up. This is where you're telling the smart controller to go to RTMP at YouTube, live, etc. The yellow box is where you're going to put in your stream key. And you need that because you need to be able to tell this your actual video channel. Your stream key can be found by going to your beta studio. I like to use the classic studio, so I always switch back to classic. It makes it easier. So once you're in classic studio, go to live streaming. And in the streaming options, you'll see here, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that very same link, that RTMP link, and you'll see your stream key. There will be a little button there that you have to click on to see it. So click on that, write it down, and then come back to this screen and type it in where I've shown you on the yellow box. It'll probably be about 12 numbers or 16 numbers, something like that. Click Next, click Start, and then you'll see in the top left corner, you are streaming. And you can confirm that if you go to your YouTube channel, like I'm doing here. I went to my channel that I was streaming this on and actually made sure that it was streaming from the controller, from the drone, using the RTMP servers. Now that image right there is the image that's being seen live on the channel. I move the drone over in front of me on the desk. I scroll up. It's actually showing the live stream. The chat will become active. And there will be a couple people come in there and chat a little bit. But I didn't. that video is not on my regular channel. When you're all done, you click end streaming. Click yes. And you're back to normal. And that's all there is to it. Thanks so very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I hope you like this tutorial. Keep an eye out because you never know when I'm going to put up another one. We'll see you on the next one.